All right, so here in the kitchen, this is the heart of the home. It's what everyone says in kitchen sells houses, kitchens and baths, right? So in here, this homeowner has done a really good job at cleaning off countertops, wiping down cabinets, and just making sure it's really nice and clean. Um, a couple of really fun and good cleaning tips for when you're doing your kitchen is when you have your paper towels, you can always just uh, put a few drops of essential oils inside there to just kind of make it smell a little bit better. Um, I always say don't do anything too um, strong. So I would stay away from like nutmeg or anything like that and maybe just do lemon or even a little bit of lavender if that's something you're wanting to do. You can also do it with toilet paper rolls in the bathroom. Um, something else that you might not know is sinks. Uh, if you have a stainless steel sink and you want it to look super shiny and stay nice and clean, is once you scrub it and get it completely clean, take just a little bit of baby oil and wipe it down in the baby oil and it'll actually help keep your sink clean for a lot longer. I love how clean this kitchen is. I, they did leave some hand soap out that doesn't look so great and yeah. they already have a soap dispenser. So think about things like that. Even if you're not a soap dispenser filler, <laughs> Go ahead and put your soap underneath the kitchen sink. I agree. Um, something else to think about is um, if you have stainless steel appliances and you see lots of fingerprints, go ahead and wipe those fingerprints off. Um, you can purchase fingerprint remover um, or um, I, even just a little bit of vinegar can help take those uh, fingerprints off. Another great thing about vinegar is if you uh, want to clean out your garbage disposal, sometimes they get build up in them and they smell a little yucky. Um, I like to put a little bit of vinegar and baking soda just down my uh, garbage disposal, let it sit for a few minutes and then turn it on as I'm running some water, it cleans it out nicely. And then also I'll put um, two cups in a glass dish inside of my dishwasher and run it on a cycle empty and that really cleans out your dishwasher, um, makes it nice and sparkly and smells good. Always make sure that you're emptying the catch all in the bottom. A lot of people don't even know that's there, but it can um, contribute to some of those bad food smells. Also, if you have lighting in your kitchen, make sure that you leave any under cabinet or over cabinet lighting on. Yes. People coming to look at your home won't know what all the switches are. They're just gonna pull, turn on the main switches. So I like to leave any lighting I have on just because that's another nice perk to buying the new home. I love that. And everybody loves the under cabinet lighting anyways. Or even if you had in cabinet lighting, I totally agree with that. Less is always more. So even inside the cabinets, I like people to make sure that they look pretty clean and that there's room for lots of dishes. Um, so if you have multiple dishes you're not using, you may box those up. Just so when people are looking at cabinets, like how much cabinet space it is, they feel like there's a lot of room. Um, the kitchen is also a place that you might spend a little bit of money before putting your home on the market. Uh, two of the updates that I would consider is countertops and appliances. If you have granite countertops and quartz like this home, but they're not the color of the season, I would not worry about it. As long as it's quality and you, it goes with everything else, I think it all works. Yep, I agree.